at the end of the day, I got the appointment. And here's the deal. I guarantee you, if you would have called, instead of door knocking her, she probably would have not answered her phone. I, I can read her as being one of those people that probably would not have answered the phone. But because I knocked on her door, she answered it. And I got the appointment. All right, everybody, welcome to a special on location edition of Live Prospecting, the place for prospecting, Red X. I'm Justin Zimmerman, your host. I'm here with Dan the Man Valley. You remember him oh, from uh, the, one of the live prospecting shows we've done. And today's different. I'm actually here in person, and we're going to do live door knocking. This is a little special treat. I happened to be in town, happened to be in Florida. We connected and said, let's do this. Let's make this happen and demonstrate a couple of things for you guys right now. And so before we get out there, before we start knocking, before it starts raining, <laughs> it's going to rain. It's going to rain on us. But we're going to make it happen. This is going to be a fun event. And it's going to demonstrate to you a couple of things that you may not be aware of or you are aware of and you want more of. And so um, Dan does door knocking. He does it not because he wants to waste his time. He does it because it works. And he's got a specific mindset and approach on how it fits into his prospecting, specifically expired prospecting. Yep. And so before we get out there, I'd like to jump into a couple of things with him. So that way, when you watch this, you can understand in context to how we can apply to your business or borrow from the way Dan implements it in his. And so um, let's talk about, well, why door knocking, why expired, and let's talk about have you called them and this is a follow-up or is this prior to calling them? Tell us where this fits sure. into the whole thing. Yeah, this is straight door knocking on expired. So I have not called these people. I'm actually going directly to the door and the reason I like going to the door, and certainly in my area, we have so many people that do make the phone calls, which is great. But the problem is in this area here, a lot of people, obviously they get upset, they get, you know, they get frustrated with all these realtors calling. So I like to show up at the door. And when I knock at the door and I speak to them, their personality is very different than on the phone. So in person, they're more personal. They'll actually talk with you. And so I like to do that. Now for this demonstration here, because of time, I put a whole bunch of them together and the dates on here, some of them are like, they just literally expired and some of them go back to maybe about 10, 11 months. Okay. So even the older ones are great by the way, but I love to go hit those doors because nobody else is doing it. See, people are sending mailers and then people are calling, which is important to call. But for me, I love just going to the door and just seeing those people belly to belly. Wonderful. Uh, before we started, you kind of gave some good ratios, uh, some good kind of statistics on your experience Correct. of uh, knocking doors. And so why don't you share with the audience, yeah. uh, well, one, how often do you do this? And then two, what are the results you've seen over the last oh, sure, 20 yeah. years of Absolutely. doing this? Yeah. So here's the results on this, or here, here's the expectations. We go to 10 doors, we're going to get three people that answer. It normally takes six people or six doors to get somebody to set up an appointment. Okay. So the numbers are actually very good. If you do this three times a week, you're gonna go to, you know, depending on how many you go per session, but if you're doing 10 doors a session, you go to 30 doors, you're gonna speak to about, you know, nine people or so, there should be an appointment right there. Yeah. And usually those appointments are gonna turn into a listing. They're, they're gonna be very, very good appointment to list ratio on yeah. those things. Now, because of the other seven that doesn't answer, I do one of these. I have a door knocker that I put on the door. So yeah, there you go. So I have a door knocker that I put on the door because I don't want to waste the opportunity if I get there. You see what I mean? Yeah. So I do that. So I have this, you know, double-sided uh, door knocker and I put it there and that's pretty much it. That's what we do. We go to the door. So if you do this, I'm, I'm going to read this and sure, please. See yeah, go for it. Sorry, I missed you. If you're still interested in selling, please call me ASAP. Thanks, Dan. I specialize in selling homes that failed to sell the first time around. Dan Valley, Royal International Realty. Call or text me today. And then on the back, I have a marketing plan that is designed to get homes that failed to sell. Get sold the, get second, sold time the second time around. And then what I do is I put there and includes, and I have things that I do, again, to differentiate myself from everybody else. And then I put on here, I have over 26 years of experience. I mean, I'm a professional negotiator. I provide the service that you deserve. And that's what I do. And I have a phone number on there. The phone number is actually a different cell phone that I actually have with me here. I have a special cell phone that I keep in my car that's only for that. So this door knock, uh, uh, door knocker here is yeah. specifically designed for expires only. And it goes to this cell phone right here. That's great. So if this rings, I know it's an expired. 
I was just about to say, as a marketer, one of the most important things you want to do is have message to market match. And you're talking to specifically to expireds. This thing's about expireds. And uh, in their mind, obviously, you know, and in their mind, you're making a really great connection. I love how it's, this is super fine tuned. Now, this could probably also work for Fizbo's or. You could do the same thing with for self out. You just got to record yeah. a little bit. Yeah, it's like taking your script verbally. And this is, almost, this is almost like a written voicemail message. Yeah, exactly. That's so cool. It's, it's exactly I it. love it. That's exactly I love it. it. And then you're probably wondering, hey, what am I going to say at the door? So pretty much here's a script yep. that I use. Here's so, the script. You want to read it off for us? Yeah, sure. So I say, for example, you know, you know, hi, John, because I have the name on the Red X form. So okay. I'll call him by the first name. So, hey, John, my name is Dan with Royal International Realty. And I'm here to see if you're still interested in selling your home. Mm -hmm. They're going to say yes or no. If they say no, then I say, well, if you had sold, where were you planning on moving next? And then they'll tell me. Then I'll say to them, hey, I'm sure at some point, you may be interested in selling again, right? So when do you think that might be? Because I want to know in their mind, what time frame are we looking at? Is it three months, six months? Sometimes that opens up a conversation. Yeah. And then what happens in this case is if they say, hey, in about six, eight months, then I'll schedule something for a little bit out. Obviously, I'll follow up with them. Yeah. But if they are interested, then I'll say, great. Hey, well, when the, the, when the home does sell, where are you planning on moving to next? Because I want to make sure that they're still obsessed. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Right. And then I'll say, great. I like to apply for the job of selling your home. And uh, I'm available on, and then I'll come up with a date and a time, and I'll try to close them. If they're resistant, yep. then what I do is I say right here, I say, hey, John, look, I specialize, and it's the same thing as what's on the door knocker. Yeah, it says right down, if they are hesitant, do this. Yeah, I specialize in selling homes that failed to sell the first time around, and I got a marketing plan that gets it done. Yeah. So it goes right with this. It's like pain to solution. I love it. That's it. And then I just reclose them again. I go, hey, I'm available to And you hand this to them? And so will you actually... Yeah, that becomes my business card at that point. Yeah, I just hand it to them. And you're going to see some people won't want to open the door. They're going to, like, crack the door open a little bit. So then I have to, like, hand that to them. Yeah, you got to <laughs> slip it through. Yeah. And I think one of the last things before we move forward is I thought this is kind of an interesting nuance is that um, if you're going out there and you're doing door knocking, I thought when I was a real estate agent, how great it would have been to have software to help me route the most optimal time efficient path to get there. And so uh, if you go out there and door knock, uh, what's a couple of those websites that you said yeah. that'd be great the, if you want to set that up? Yeah, the one I use is, I'll tell you guys right now, it's a free one, mapcustomizer.com. Map Customizer. So map Customizer with a Z. So we use that and then we just remap it. You know, we place them on, you know, to position them for us to do our thing. And, and yeah. then we, we mark it on our paper and we go. Optimal use of time, and uh, let's uh, see some things That's happen it. in action. I'm going to have you be my helper. All right. I'll stuff. be navigator, helper, Absolutely, assistant. Man. Awesome, man. Uh, you have arrived at your destination. All right. So it's about to get real, guys. About to get real. You know, that might be the homeowner right there. Actually, you know, they got a visitor. Yeah, it might be a mechanic or something. Yeah. Yeah. Mr. Fixer, there's his license plate. <laughs> so the funny part is I'm going to be knocking on the door while he's got something there. Good timing. All right. So perfect. Let's see what happens. Oh, he's coming back. Hey, what's what's going on? Hey, man. So it's really not that bad. Let me give you the rundown on this one. So the lady, this one's actually, she's in a wheelchair. Okay. And so it was kind of awkward because obviously, as you can see, somebody else pulled up at the exact same time. She's having a problem with her AC. The windows and the doors were open. Okay. So she was not very interested in speaking with me, obviously. But I asked her if she had sold, where was she planning on moving to next? Yeah. And she was like, ah, no, no, I'm not moving anywhere. And so, again, the obsessed level that we talked about is not right, really right. it's not really obsessed working with obsessed people who want need to want to do whatever it takes to buy or sell that's uh, right so but what ended up happening the long story short uh obviously she's not interested in selling but you know it's uh there's no bad conversations right the people are not as mean on the in person than on the phone so that's what's yeah. happening there but this one here i mean you know we have somebody actually pull up mr fixer as we can see on the license plate so it was kind of like an awkward moment where you got like two different people showing up yeah and you're kind of both people are vying for their attention which yeah. could be good and bad because if they're expecting somebody at the door then right. they're going to open the door that's now right. like prospecting over the phone you never quite know what they're going to say that's correct exactly it's, you know sometimes people are like oh you call me just the right time or hey you just that's right all right so we're going to go to number two yeah you know I you know what's weird is I think of expired listings sometimes, and it's so weird. I'm in my office, and I think of an expired listing, and just, like, the nature of it not selling in my mind always generates this image of, like, a, like, kind of decrepit house, right? Yeah. Or, like, there's something wrong, or it's going to be in a bad neighborhood, or it's only low-income properties. 
and, when and, the reality and, is not. And it's not. Mm -hmm. And I'm driving through here right now. And I mean, I was a real estate agent. And I've had expired listings. And uh, I don't know why I have that bias. And I think maybe for the people back in the office watching this and maybe even people, yeah, there's just something like tarnished. It creates a tarnish yeah, in your yeah, mind. But exactly. the reality is driving around They're right now. Homes. These are beautiful homes. This was a $640,000 home. Yeah. So why, why would it not sell? Well, here's what happens to you guys. As you know, in this market that we're in right now, as the market gets a little bit softer and more homes come on the market, it really comes down to how you're positioning the home to get sold. So if you guys are out there just taking pictures with your cell phone, it's probably not going to be the right, the right pictures. So you need to have professional pictures taken. The quality of the pictures need to attract the people's eyes. Like for me, I use Matterport. So I do a full matter, Matterport, Matterport. Yeah. M-A-T-T-E-R-P-O-R-T. -E okay. It's a 3D virtual walkthrough camera with nine lenses. Oh, dang. 4K. Yeah. So I own it. I have the machine. So what I do is I go through the house. It takes about an hour per thousand square feet to, to shoot. Yeah. And what ends up happening is you end up getting super high quality 4K pictures. That just makes everything look insanely beautiful. And you're taking thousands of pictures in the house. So you get to pick like 100 to 140, whatever you need. Awesome pictures. So it just makes things a lot better. And you can really position the, the camera to uh, to really get a, a good sense of the home and just make the, the good parts of the home stand out. Because when you use a regular professional photographer, for example, uh -huh. you're at their mercy for the type of pictures they might have taken. You know, by the time you get the pictures back, then you're like, man, what is this? You yeah. Know? Exactly. Well, we're getting a question, which is great. Thanks, Andrew, for sharing that with us. Uh, Joey Scholler asks, did you ask the woman in the wheelchair if there was anything you could do to help her while you were there? I asked her, hey, what do you think stopped you from selling the home? She said, sir, enough, sir, enough. And in reality is she had the guy, the EC guy that was right there next to her at the yeah. same time. It was just an awkward situation. And these, there it is right here, 4101. 41, which are right. So I'm going to pull up right here. I'm Ms. Chandler. Yeah. I'm Dan with Royal International Realty. How are you? Fine, thank you. Good. Hey, I'm here to see if you might be interested in putting your house back on the market. We're renting. Oh, you're renting right now? We don't own this. Oh, so you're the uh, tenants? We're the tenants, yeah. Ah, okay. When does your lease end? Um, started. It's going to be long term. It's going to be a long term thing. Ah, yeah. uh, okay. No problem at all. Well, I'll give you my flyer anyway. Okay. So okay. if you have decide you want to buy a home, please reach out to me. Okay. Thank, thank you. Bye-bye now. All right. Next one. Next one. All right. How far is this one from here? I believe it's going to be right over there. Okay. Wow. They're so dang close. I really, I, I went back a year so I can try to grab as many as I can gotcha. within the same areas. If I'm going after, let's say I plan on only going to 10 homes. Mm -hmm. So if I'm going to do that, then obviously I want to make it as tight as possible to try to really jam them out. Okay. If I'm going to go for like 20 homes, then I'll reach out from that area and really try to focus then on newer ones and what have you. Because new ones might be more further spread further apart, out. Right? Yeah. So but... right now I'm just trying to crunch a whole bunch of them within a certain area. And remember, it doesn't matter how old they are. They're still good to knock on because their time might now be the right time. Mm. So you get situations sometimes where you get somebody who might say, well, you know, the reason it then sells because my realtor said the market wasn't doing good right now. So we decided we're going to wait like three or four months. Mm. And now it just happened to be the three or four months time frame when I'm hitting their door. Most likely nobody's home at this one. It looks kind of quiet. But you see out of three houses, we have two. two yeah. Four homes. Now one's a fact, but still, you know, there's somebody home. Yep. All right. So that's what's going on. So for oh, I think there's a lady coming oh, out right here. Oh, there's a lady. Let me see this. Here you go. Hi there, how are you? She doesn't look too happy about really anything. Let's see what happens. She's about a lady of, uh, I would say, 72, 73. She's shaking her finger no. And uh, yes, some, some kind of resistant hand gestures kind of pointing up in the air. But now, oh, look, she's kind of changing her body language a little bit, kind of like, oh, well, maybe. And it looks like she's explaining her story of what happened. And she's kind of been frustrated. It now seems like Dan's connecting with her in a way where body language is changing here. So she went from kind of a hands out gesture to hands are down, less defensive. She's looking him in the eye and talking and uh, connecting with him. 
Oh, look. Ah, that's an interesting. F oh, she's smiling now. Look at that. Oh, wow. I wish you could see that. Such, it's so interesting to watch this happen. Uh, the facial expressions of, of what's changing. Oh, he's, now she's asking for his business card, his door knocker, and looking for it. What? A, I'll let him explain this. Oh, look, he's showing his clipboard and explaining like her property and where it was, what it's at, and that was that was kind of a fun little. Uh, body language experience to see all those things change. She's not jumping up and down the air saying, oh God, I'm so glad you came by. You were exactly the person who I was waiting for. But it really looks like she went from being hesitant slash resistant to amenable. So, um, so I'll give you guys a scoop. Now, look at this. Three out of three. Three out of three. The people were home. The situation with this one here, the house expired. And unfortunately, the husband just had a stroke. Oh. So now she's like, hey, now the right time for us to move would be in December. Wow. Now she's from Romania, and I happen to have one of my team members who's from Romania. <laughs> so that's what's going on here. The, the reason the lady came up to the car is she saw, you know, cause, you know, she saw like somebody pull up, and you know, which was us. Yeah. So I'm just gonna make a quick note here, real quick. Great. Yeah. Keep giving us the break. This is a, this is a great one. So what I'm gonna do, I told her on Monday, I'm gonna have here have, I'm gonna have Annalise, who's my my buyer's agent, who's from Romania. I'm going to have her call and get my connection with her. Great. Okay. So the goal is going to be to come back. I'm going to schedule an appointment next week. I'm going to have her call on Monday. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to have a, an appointment for next week that we're going to come back. You know what's fun to watch was I couldn't hear, but I watched yeah. your entire body language change. She was very nice, wasn't she? Yeah. She kind of like started off. You saw hands, gestures yep. of like resistance. And all of a yep. sudden she broke into she a just, smile. And, and that's why it's great to be going to the doors. <laughs> Well, this, if this, this is working. This is something that if you're <laughs> you're not doing at least once in a while, just to get your hopes up. I mean, right? Mm -hmm. It's yeah. a good way to kind of build the. Uh, oh, real estate is is good. Real estate is positive. It's not just That's all right. the drudgery. That's right. right? You That's get right. that that connection. Yep. Now, did you see three out of three? Three out of three. There was somebody home. I'm going to call her on Monday with with Annalise, who speaks her language, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. we're going to schedule an appointment. Remember I said usually it takes three people. Usually you go to 10 doors, you get three people. Yeah. So today I think we're going to get a lot more than three people because we're <laughs> three on three so far. Yeah. But that right there is I'm, I'm very, very confident when we call her back on Monday, we'll have an appointment. Like on a scale of 1 to 10, I feel like a 12. <laughs> it's, it's a lot of agents think that people are going to scream when you get through the door. Yeah. They don't. You guys got to understand that it's really not that. See, the reason you're you're thinking of that is because if you make calls, part of making calls to expires is you're going to get screamed at. You, that, that's part of the game. Yeah. It, it's just part of it. But when you go to the door, they're not screaming at you. And it looks like this house might be might be vacant. I don't know. But we're going to find out. I'm going to go knock on the door, and then let's see what happens. Thank you. Bye-bye. All right. So somebody was home. Somebody was home. You see that. So here's how the conversation went on that one. She said, no, we're not looking to move anywhere. And uh, well, I asked her if she was looking to sell. She said, no, we're not planning on moving anywhere. And then I re-asked. I said, well, if you were to move, where were you planning on moving? And she's like, no, we're going to, we're just going to stay around here. So she was very short. Okay. That's going to happen. That's yeah. part of the game, guys. That's also, see, that's also four out of four, too. Four out of four, man. The odds are very good. Today. So whoever's watching this, what's your thoughts? Like, do you see yourself going to the door? Like, it's really not that bad. Like, the people today, they haven't been the, the nicest people. The last one was actually very nice. Yeah, yeah. But these weren't, like, the, like this one here, she was very short as well. Yeah. But nothing bad. Nothing harsh. Nothing bad at all. So people usually have in their mind the thought that, you know, they're going to get screamed at. And, you don't, you don't get screwed up. I'm trying to put myself in the shoes of a real estate agent doing this right now. Uh -huh. yep. and do a little interpretation. Maybe to reinterpret frustration or uh -huh. shortness yeah. as part of the qualification process is that if someone really truly has a willingness and need, you're going to be speaking to them and they're going to want to hear, right? As soon as they hear like, oh, you might be able to help me and they feel like you're a trustworthy person, they open up and you start to get connection right that's correct. and if you, if they stay out of connection it probably means that they're just telling you without actually saying it no truly we are we're, we're really not interested yeah that's what's going to happen you guys got to remember too that they went through a journey of six months sometimes even more that the house did not sell so automatically we're put in a bucket a 
of people who did not do their job of selling their home. Yeah. Now, it doesn't mean it was the realtor's fault. It might have been, you know, well, actually, it is their fault. Let me tell you why. Usually, it doesn't sell because of what? Price or condition. And usually, if it's condition, price will reflect that condition anyway. Mm. So, if it's not price right, well, it's not going to sell. They get frustrated. So again, you got to remember that you know some of these people are really frustrated because their home was on the market for a long period of time, and now they kind of put all of us in that same bucket. And this is why I purposely dress really, really up. You know, I could be in a polo right now, and if I'm door knocking, like going house to house, I will be in a polo, obviously, if I'm door knocking a neighborhood. Yeah. But in this case, where I'm going to an expired, I want to dress up because I know that whoever was there before me probably was not dressed up. So probably I more dressed like out. me. <laughs> yeah, they're right. and there's nothing wrong with the way you dress, you know. But the thing is, that's what usually ends up happening. So you want to be overdressed. So yeah, they can look at you. If your doctor you're shows up in uh, flip flops, then right, you're like, oh, you would be like, what's going on with that? You know, is this yeah. is it. Yeah. All right, so on this one here, nobody's there, so I put a uh, door hanger on the door. It looks like they're actually redoing the house. Nobody's there. The house looks like it needs some remodeling. It needs some remodeling, so it's probably why it didn't sell. All right, we're going to go to the next one. All right. You know what's nice is uh, the people watching this right now, the agents, um, audience members, they're, they're really saying they're getting a different perspective on prospect on, on door knocking. Awesome. Yeah, so I think that alone tells me that it's funny, like, whether it's like a new restaurant or something, we create these preconceived notions in our head about what something is, and because we don't know, it becomes scary or fearful. Guys, the thing you need to understand, you do not get yelled at when you're actually going to the door. Nobody yells. Now, again, we had some earlier that were a little bit short, and that's totally okay. I think it might be this one. You no, know, it must be the next one, and guess what? People are home. All right, I'm going to go hit that door. All right, let's see what happens. First with, uh, yeah, nobody there. Well, you see, look, we have, what was it, four? Four were home, two were not home. Uh, how much time are we in for right now, would you say? When, when did we uh, leave? 3.30 now. It was, uh, we started late, we, about an hour ago. I think it's been about an hour. And we're, and we're not rushing. We're kind of just, you know. Ten minutes home. Is that about average for you? Yeah, what exactly. Just, is that, yeah, yeah you, I mean, you can knock out like ten homes in an hour to an hour and 15 minutes usually uh -huh. is, is what it really boils down to. We like to do that usually from one to three. Never door knock or expire. It's in the morning. And the reason for that, you should be prospecting on the phone in the morning. Okay, so you make your phone calls in the morning, then you do this from yeah. one to three. And then from after three, you should be going on appointments. So anybody got any questions then? Or how about any um, any thoughts about doing this? Right, like what, what's stopping you from making the, these, these door knocks, right? There's nothing to it. See, nobody else is doing it. Look, there's nothing hard about this. I mean, if you get through six to ten knocks a day, with we'll just call it a fifty percent connect yep. rate, if you want to apply that yep. to it, or open exactly. open rate, it's five people a day times five days a week. Mm -hmm. That's twenty people, right? You could be adding a hundred new contacts to your database. That's right, just like that. Yeah. Where you send out an email, or you make a, you know, you know what I'm saying, and then over the course of a year, you've got a thousand people. A thousand right. people who know your name and face that you stayed in front of. And if they're not looking to sell again now. In the and, they, they and, and, and then who else do they know, right? Exactly. You could load you that up on a power dialer and, and just go through the thing. Hey, just was following up all That's your follow-up stuff. See if exactly. anybody. Exactly. Man, it's not easy, man. You know, and so if you're thinking about it on a day-to-day -day basis, this is a great example. But if you think about it over the course of a year, and then in your, yeah, you're, 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 you're getting, you've got ten thousand people that look, you could have talked to. It's really easy. You do this, you do this three to four days a week. You're getting twenty to thirty listings just by doing that. There's no doubt that that's just the way it works. Yeah, I think somebody's home. So let me go hit that. So this one here, when the lady opened the door, I, I knew right away it wasn't the owner. Uh, so it was a caretaker. Uh huh. And she said the owners were not home. So I said, hey, if you don't mind, if you can give that to the owners when they come home. But the reality is the owners, I'm sure, are home because mm -hmm. you see all the vehicles here. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So it must be an older couple. So that's what's going on here. So this will be a follow-up.
what I'll do on that one here, we're actually going to send a mailer to follow up on that one, and okay. then I'll make a phone call as well. Yeah, if you guys walk away from this conversation or just this show today with anything, I would say it's what you just said. Most agents are like, what do I do every day? What do I fit into my calendar? When do I put it? What time is the best? We get those questions all the time. Yeah. And it's, well, like you just said, call in the morning. Call in the morning. Knock in the evening or in the afternoon here. Mm -hmm. And then have appointments after three, right? That's it. That's how you do it. And just do that. Call yep. eight, 8 to 11, yep. right? Yep. Chill out, follow up, do some other stuff that Thanks. comes up. Exactly. Answer your emails. You have it at 1 o'clock, you're back out. 1 o'clock, back out. That's it. That's, uh, that's, that's, you do that's that. super hey. simple. You know, it's, it's like Ryan Serhant says, right? You have to throw many balls up in the air. And that's just one of the ways you do it, right? If you're making your cold calls, right, you're calling your, and again, you can still call expires. There's nothing wrong with that. I just personally, myself, when it comes to expires, I like this way better because you see the, you see the, 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 so you got to experience it right here. You're right here in the car, right? So you got to see like with that Romanian lady, she's smiling. Everything is fine. Like yeah. there's nothing, you know, and it was a great conversation. I was out there for a while. Yeah, and, and the thing is, you don't want to rush it either. Right, right. You let them talk. See, that's another problem, too. A lot of agents are so quick to want to tell, tell, tell. Don't tell. Ask. Listen to them. Listen to what their real needs are. And then if you're able to help them, then you present what you want to do. Right? You present that you're able to help. I'm, I'm going to make a guess that the conversation with the Romanian lady, she started to tell her story. Right? Like, that's right. And I think if you allow the people who you're interacting with, like, how do you discover their needs? Well, let them tell their story, right? Let I think if you, can, if you can provide that, that's it. You got to let them talk. You know, that's the thing. I'm a high D personality. So for me, it's very easy to take over the conversation and to control the conversation. So I have to step back when I'm doing this. Mm. I have to actually step back and ask my question. I get quiet, let them talk. And this lady, she would process. I don't know if you noticed, I would ask her a question. Yeah. And it would take a couple seconds. She's processing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then and then I would see once she figured out. She I talked about the hand gestures. Like as soon as she clicked with whatever she was thinking, like her her body language shifted to the next. Everything thing. shifted. Yep. And there was there was like a pause process. Then so that that's what that was. Okay, yeah, so that's, that's cool. Was, that's yep. cool. But that would not happen if I was being too pushy. And, and a lot of agents will be that way. They'll start just push, 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 and that person pulls back. So you have to ask a question, relax, let them answer. In this case, you know, this lady took, took her a little while more. I don't know if you yeah, saw it. Yeah. Asked a question. She'd be there, smile. She would think, and then she would answer. So you just got to give them the chance to actually speak, and then you absorb what they say, and then after that, you ask your next question based on what. what yeah, I wish we had the audio that. Sure that was people, a good one. I wish. I'm sure people would love to hear that. Like, how yeah. did you say when she said this? Yeah. And, we'll, but, we'll, uh, we'll catch one. We yeah. still got time. Yeah, this is still pretty close it's by. Fun. Yeah, it's really not that. I, I would say the radius that we've traveled today has been less than a mile radius. I would say a mile radius from the from the first home. From the first home. Yeah, from the mile, first mile home. and a half. Yeah, a mile, mile and a half. Yeah, I think that's a good thing for people to know. That's like, hey, set a mile and a half radius. Try to come up with ten to twelve properties to door within knock that, yeah. within that thing. What was the name of that site again? Custom map, custom map customizer with a Z. Map customizer with a Z, .com. which instead of the S and customize with a Z, and then that will help you route the most efficient step by step. Yeah, when you put it on there, it kind of gives you like based on how you put them in. It's gonna it'll be like the first one is number one, number two will be number two. It kind of goes like that. Yeah. But then what happens is then you can visually see the map, and yep. then you can rearrange them to make the route to be where it needs to be. Oh, right. that's a little tiny house. Look at that thing. Oh, wow. So a big difference from the other one, right? Yeah. What's so the let's price see. on this one here? You know what's interesting is I've never seen this a, a Red X lead actually printed out. You never saw no, that? No, I've never seen it. Yeah, I mean, I've never oh, seen cool. this. Let me show these people here. Like, ooh, I've never seen this before. <laughs> it's actually uh, formatted really, really nicely. I like how clean this looks. This came out. Pretty clean. And you can put notes right over here. Yeah. Wow. This is great. I. I. This is good to see. Well, just by the price, they're in way memory. overpriced. We're. We're showing where the price is. That's what I'm looking for. Okay. Well, okay. Yeah. Wow. That's. Yeah. And I'll. I'll like out this agent right here. But the this particular agent is one of the like biggest agent in the area. Yeah. And so this person clearly, clearly, unfortunately, I'm going to call this person out without saying their name. But they're clearly taking listings overpriced just for the fact of taking listings. For the sign calls. For and... the sign calls, because this right here is 363000 Yeah, I, I mean, honestly. It. Yeah, it's hard to it's, see it over the, here. This, but... is a two, this is a 280 the 290 purchase price. What's the square footage on this? Uh, I'll tell you right now. It is 
Let's see, six, uh, 1,969 square feet, build 57. Yeah, it's a little, actually, it's a, it seems like it's actually a little bit bigger than it does look from the outside yeah, with 1,900. But just but, the area here, that, that's not the right price. Yeah. It's way, way off. All right, on to the next one. So we're actually going to be in number nine. Number in nine. Number, number nine. All right, let's go for it. So this is clearly right here. That that home is clearly overpriced. Take a look at the neighborhood, right? So you can clearly see that it's not the same. Oh, we'll get some questions in here so we can address some of those. So Jenny wants to know, are you only going into ungated communities? Oh, that's a great question, Jenny. Yes, that's the answer. The answer is yes, only ungated. So here's what I do. I grab the data and then I go on Google Maps. I put the address, and then what I do is I drop the, the little guy so I see the street view. Yep. And actually bring it in from the main road to see if there's a gate. Oh, and that's if it is gated, I skip it. Super smart. Yeah, that's a great question. And that's a great tactic you use to not waste your time driving out there to be. Well, you, you know, I, Hi, I'm a real estate agent. I'm here to knock on all the doors in this gated community, and they'll look at you. Well, you know, I learned how to do that because that, that's what happened at first. I showed up. I remember the, the first time I really did this, I would say a good six homes out of 10 were gated. Hmm. And I drove all the way out, and I didn't even map it correctly. And, it, you know, it's, it's a it was a le lesson learned. Crash course, you know. Oh, man. I was going like from one place to another, back, yeah, yeah. back, gated, gated, gated. And I learned really quick, all right, use Google Map, drop the little guy on there, and then walk your way through. Because if it's gated, you're going to see a gate. And sometimes you'll you'll put the address, and you'll see a wall that tells you right there it's gated. Mm. So I won't even bother, you know. I won't even move further with it, you know. For all of you who are watching and listening, we have a blog that takes a lot of these concepts and puts them out there. And so I think this might be one thing we want to update. We have a door knocking blog that puts a lot of stuff out there and so we should take this video put that on our blog i think that'll right. be a good a good place for this content really as thing. well as i think we should update the beginning of that blog with some of these tactics that you you described awesome. here so how to yep. do gates and so not only does the blog offer you 29 probably now 30 exactly. ways to door knock that's but, right. um yep. Yep. some and other stuff like that yep I got the appointment from Monday at 3 p.m. So what ended up happening here, uh, hold on, let me just see where we are so I know where we're going. Yeah, so all, let me make a note. I got Monday. So how many homes did I, how many people did I see? I think you got, you're on number nine here. Right. So it says nine, and nine two home. people were not home, right? Two, two, two or three people not home. So if we say three people, so listen to my odds, guys. You're going to see that I'm, I'm the real deal. That's why they call me the real estate boss, okay? Nine homes, three were not home. I spoke to six people. I got an appointment. And what did I say at the beginning? You were going to get six people. And get an yep, appointment. Yep, yep. That's... The numbers are right there, guys. So what ended up happening? Like, up you're like here? the Babe Ruth of door knocking. You're calling the shot. Dude, I love it, man. It's, <laughs> it's, it's the best. So appointment, I'm just going to put a note here, Monday, 3 p.m. So here's the deal, guys. Let me tell you how this went down. So I knocked on the door. The lady answers. And I said to her, you know, exactly what's on my script, right? I was calling. I was checking to see. If you're interested in putting a house back in the market, there's a bug on me right here. What ended up happening, she uh, she said, well, she goes, when I said to her, hey, um, I was checking to see if you're interested in putting a house back on the market. And she goes, well, how much, how much would you sell the house for? Or how much do you want? I forgot exactly what she said. And she invited me to in. So I went in. And that's what you guys would want to do. So she showed me the house. The funny part is she was like, you know, the, the water heater was not new. And, and, okay. and the appliances were not new, but she was like, hey, it's brand new, brand new. And But anyway, that, but her perception okay. is. Yeah, yeah, the perception is it's newer. So, but at the end of the day, I got the appointment. And here's the deal. I guarantee you, if you would have called, instead of door knocking her, she probably would have not answered her phone. I, I can read her as being one of those people that probably would not have answered the phone. But because I knocked on her door, she answered it. And I got the appointment. One out of six. Six. Well, let's wrap things up right now. Sure. I think this is a let's good time to, to, yep. to bring things to a close. Yeah. Um, today we started off with coming into your office and getting a view of what a prospecting central space looks like. Correct. Right. A prospecting centric office looks like. We talked about the impact of environment on mm -hmm. your mindset, right? Mm -hmm. Like a gym or a yoga studio or a dojo. You can practice at home. 
but like how much more value do you get out of being in an environment that's custom suited with people who are showing up to do the same thing? So that's I think right. that's right. If you haven't caught that on our Instagram page, you can go to our Instagram Red X, uh, Google the Red X Instagram, yep. um, and you'll see. Uh, that video, it's in our stories right now. So you'll kind of see the preamble to what we showed here. Mm -hmm. Then we got in the car, you know, we kind of went through your materials, yep. mm -hmm. um, how you set your, your mile, one and a half mile radius. Correct. Yep. Right. Yep. Set a mile so and a half radius. You can go further out if you want. Well, yeah. But, you know, but yeah. that seemed to be like, what, that, that's what we did. Mile, yep. mile and a half kind of yep. gave us about an hour, an hour and a half yep. worth of um time to spend in the car you probably go faster when we're not here talking and sure. stuff so yeah, exactly you know yep. uh you had we we looked at what nine homes is that nine homes that was nine number Correct. nine yep. so we probably we probably could do 10 or 12 exactly yep you called it i'm gonna get out of uh, within six we're gonna get an, an appointment we actually have two appointments we got two we got two that's right yeah that's right we, we got one that's gonna be, you're right i forgot about the other you one you got the other one the other one's gonna be a done deal too man that, that's a done deal so we got two out of six it doesn't matter whether it's a new expired Expired or an older expired. Look at the date on that one. What was the date on? The, that? Uh, this one was canceled on July. In July. July. So, so that's three months ago. Three months ago. There yeah. We go. You know. So three, even three months ago, from a year to do expired, it doesn't matter. Just yep. kind of cluster around that one. Yep. Uh, one and a half to two mile radius. That's right. Yeah. Uh, like you said in the beginning, call in the morning. Do your calls in the morning and knock in the afternoon. That's so, correct. Do the call, guys. Do not not do your calls make the phone calls it's so important to do that make the calls first yeah this is the whole success formula we're laying out here where we just picked pick, uh that's right picked up and put down yeah uh so eight to eleven call then chill out do some follow-up eat some lunch right maybe go do some yoga or something to exercise kind of break up the day Get back out there and then knock the doors as we saw. Mm -hmm. uh, we started at the two, like you said, one o'clock to three. One to three is one, the good. One to three is the sweet spot. Mm -hmm. We kind of were a little off on that for some scheduling reasons, but still got great results. Wonderful results. Wonderful results. Mm -hmm. And uh, as you saw from some of the interactions and videos, it's just not difficult. Engage with questions, be curious, let people talk, tell their story. Yeah. And then uh, there are just those moments, like you said, where if they say, hey, how much you just say well let me take a look let me, let me see let me, let me look see. around that's right that's it and guys it's really that simple there's nothing to it and uh yeah and if anybody has any questions man they're you know they can reach out to me there's no problem at all uh if i could throw in there real quick uh if you guys want to learn how i do a lot of this stuff i have like rocky dole over from phoenix arizona as well that's on here and some other you know big time agents go on facebook to real estate live coaching and prospecting alliance Click join. So real estate, live coaching and prospecting alliance. Click join and we'll get you set up. It's totally free. And you guys can see what we do. You know, this is what we do. Yeah. You know, it's there. there's it's, it's all about just going out there and doing your stuff, guys. And that's it. You know, and it's not scary. I think that's the final takeaway is no, when no you talk serious. to people, they tell you their story. It takes away the fear that really the people a lot of think about cold calling. I'm annoying and I'm going to bother, be bothersome. And all of a sudden. Uh, we missed that one example with the Romanian lady, but we saw at the end, people really who are interested in buying or selling are going to literally invite you into their house. You saw that. And you almost you like, did. they leave almost like, I thought she was going to give me a hug or give us some hugs. <laughs> you see how nice she was? Yeah, she was super nice. She was very nice. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, yeah. that's a wrap for today's first edition of Live Door Knocking. Thank you, Dan, so much for taking the time, showing, driving us around, giving agents a new perspective. Uh, for all the people back at Red X who make it happen every day, making the software, helping sell the right product to the right people and all the service and support. Right next to the best. Couldn't do it without you guys, as well as the marketing team that helps put a lot of these things together. Uh, my little plug here for you guys is go to the uh, go to the Red X blog. If you're not on the newsletter list, you'll get access to things like this. When we do live shows, when we post the recordings, all the new content that comes out similar to this, you're gonna wanna be on that if you're not already on it. So just Google Red X and blog. Look for anything that pops up that says join the newsletter list. That will put you on it and that will put you in touch with us when we do more things like this. I'm Justin and from I'm Red X. This is Dan. Thanks for watching. Hope you learned a lot. See you next time on future shows where we do prospecting live.